hello Facebook and YouTube followers. It's um, Wednesday the 23rd of the 1st, 2019. I've had a brief sabbatical in the bush down here in the beautiful Sunshine Coast. Um, had to sort of get out of the house and clear my head. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, any one of you is interested in um, doing a bush battery mod. Uh, I was in the unfortunate situation where this Ranger battery um, died on me. I dropped the cell. It's been going for a while. They are maintenance free. Um, I'll get back to, I would like to hang on to this battery because, you know, 30 years down the track it might be one of the only few around and could be worth a few dollars if someone ever wanted to restore one of these. Not that I doubt not that it's something that would probably ever really happen because there's a lot of them around. Anyway, so I had with me uh, this Sentry battery that was donated as payment to uh, Adrian, uh, sorry, to Clayton, John Cosgrove, part payment for the uh, borrowing of see that without focus. It's a, it's a DIN 85L MF Sentry battery. Uh, I think it's like 780 CCA. There it is. Um, so anyway, this, this this is Clayton John Cosgrove's property. In fact, I'll write that on now. Just so um, many interested parties can get their head around all the shit that's going on with the uh, Boss Customs Young Veterans fucking sham. Um, so anyway, long story short, this battery, I had this battery uh, the um, sorry about that. This um, hydrometer was green, so it was a fairly good indication to me that it was in good nick. I had a uh, sporter solar panel yesterday, $160, good bit of kit, 5 watt. Um, and I noticed when I went to start it, it, um, it went to crank and then dropped back to nothing it told me that the oh sorry this one here was um very low in uh, amperage and voltage and it was drawing from this and the leads just simply couldn't supply this system with enough amp enough amperage to start so being a bit bigger mind you i replaced all of this did all this work with a um five dollar shifter that i borrowed from a mate that pulled up for a surf um you can get a shifter down in here to undo that undo this makes life a bit easier for you um, this is a bit tricky to get back on but if you sort of massage it around a bit you'll get it back in um, and the, the real issue I had was the battery box I mean the earth lead is touching here against the body of the wild track which is neither here nor there because more earth is always a good thing um, so what I had to do was basically cut and break away um, that was the front part that was to get access to the um, the clamp for the battery and to cut down there and snap it and then on both sides of the battery box um, I had to cut and snap that as well so if anyone's got himself in a bit of a pickle with a PX2 Ranger and they need a replacement battery and all they can get is a Sentry DIN 85L MF um, deep cycle heavy duty battery. It will fit just. It's also a sick mod because it ups the CCA of the vehicle. Anyway, I'll get this up to um, YouTube and when my Facebook band's over, I'll share it to the page. Cheers guys, stay tuned.